biggie look at that that's some fresh powder up there it's supposed to be down low I'm gonna head up the oh Glenn let me share the link give me a second here I'll share the link well, I guess it ain't that low because that ridge is well it's got a little dusting See, that ridge is five six K there and it's not even there Oh, let me share the link. Oh, I gotta find the link. Oh. Uh, where's my home? Here we go. Let me find the uh, share button. Second, I'm just gonna share this link. I'm doing uh, I'm just doing it off Facebook or I'm sorry, YouTube. I need to close the link too because I'm picking up feedback. Let me close that. Get a nice view of the snow. There we go. Wait till I turn to be able to see it. Oh, it's beautiful. Fresh powder. Zanky Zaha, whatever you call it. It's not flowing real good. It's just a little water there, but it's not moving. You'd think it'd be uh, a lot of water moving, but when I left the house, it was an uh, inch and a half I had. It was a pretty good dump for one day. Um, it was kind of a break right now. That's why I'm gonna try and get up here and get down. I grabbed all my snow recovery stuff in case somebody's stuck. I had cleaned out my truck. A lot of it was out of the truck. I gotta put my uh, defroster on. Get a little heat. Yeah, that now you can see it. Ooh, I'm looking at the ridge over here. It's about, looks like about maybe a thousand feet down the ridge to the north, which is usually about, let's see, that ridge is 6K. You know, like where Running Springs is, where the R is. I'm trying to see if we got the R. I think the R was, uh, God, I used to work right above the R right there at the comm site. got to get my SD card for the dash cam. Every time I leave it, when I go into the view it and I leave it, I get somebody to do a real bonehead thing. Like I'm not sure what this guy's doing here. If he's going to come back out or if he's going to pull off to the side. or I'm looking for the R. I'll go up 38 so you can see it better. Oh, where's the R? It looks like the R might be covered up in clouds. I'm looking. It looks like it got the R. It looks low enough that I think the R was like 5,000. Because where we worked at, it was right below the sea place, right there by Keller Pig. Come on, lady. It's your turn to go. Let's see if you can see it up here. I can't see it. The clouds may be blocking it to him. I'm looking for the slope where the R is. The slope is using, it's got like a, a south slope. It, it's, it's kind of a pretty steep slope. I remember when we climbed it. I used to climb it from the top because it was shorter and easier. I don't know if it's easier. It's a steep slope. But it was only a couple hundred feet down where if you come in below, uh, what is it? One in 34, two in 34, with the one by Color Cliffs. Manzanita Flats, one in 09. If you come in down there, it's a pretty steep climb up from there. It's, God, I want to say a quarter mile straight up. Oh, what do we get here? 
Oh, giant pothole. Oh, look at that pothole. Oh, baby. That thing sunk right there. Yeah, that's a... How they comb that off? Because, man, that thing's about a foot deep. That would suck up. That would tear a wheel off. That's not good. Note that. Wall base right by Jack in the Box going uh, northbound. See if you can see the R up here. I'm looking for it. But I don't... I think that's the slope. I can't get a good look at it. <coughs> Let me get out here where... Ah, the old house is... All the construction or the buildings are in the way. Let me see if I can see it here. Ah. I think the clouds are blocking it. And I guess where's Freckles? Freckles is last day today, and so was uh, Dos Amitos tor uh, Tortas. Highland here by uh, Baseline by uh, the old K's. Here's Freckles. I think Freckles is open to 8. Last day, they're going to turn into a dining or a catering and this is open there's some guys getting takeout they're turning it into like a catering uh, event place no more sit down restaurant Das, Amido, das Amigos Tortas is uh, closing or no wait somebody said uh, what did they say somebody bought it what were they gonna do? They were gonna do something with it. I can't remember what it was now. Were the new Cougars open in the old K's on baseline just west of Palm? They had good burritos and tacos. Yeah, I'm looking over there. Yeah, I think the clouds are blocking our. But I think it snows low enough. Probably tomorrow. It's gonna. Second round comes in. It's like 10% now till. Noon, I think tomorrow, then we're going to get a second round. And I haven't heard if it's going to be worse or better. Or... How much is diesel? 519. But it's been a mess in the mountains. The people go up without chains. Whoa, what are we doing here? How about a turn signal? No, we're not going to use a turn signal. The people that go up without chains and then they get in this a hill or a curve and they and they go in the ditch or they can't get up the hill. Highway 38 had a uh, there was a dodge here below Angeles Oak that was sliding around and over the grade above the South Fork there, like east of Barton Flats, there was a semi in there that got almost to the top, got stuck. Even with chains, they, they really shouldn't let those semis go in there because on the tight curves, like that's all curves going up. They always get stuck there and uh, what's the one, 138 at the back side of Crestline. That one's hard even when it's not snowing. It's a tight switchback. They shouldn't even be on that any time up there. But they get, Highway 38's had them where they tipped over even and they'll dump their, like a fuel tanker. That's what this was, it was a fuel tanker. They'll dump over their fuel, which creates hazmat. And they, one time they dumped it over into Four Seat Creek and it was like a, three weeks. Because they had to go in once, you know, when it gets hazmat in the creek, they got to clean it up out of the creek. And that took, I mean, it's real steep in there. That took forever. Yeah, they shouldn't, especially tanker trucks. I know they need gas up there, but, man, I don't know if they can bring them around the other side. Maybe easier coming up from Victor Valley. That seems like a, they don't get, they don't roll over up there. They don't have the switchbacks. But 38's definitely a no. And I just saw a big boulder. Where was it? Well, we got a big boulder in Lake Arrowhead by the marina. Honking. Greets about market people. They, uh, that boulder was about the size of a refrigerator. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's about as white as you're going to get. Look at that sunset on it. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Anyway, that boulder was by that. They put up a new retaining wall there right above the marina, below the hospital, if you know where the Arrowhead Hospital is. Uh, that boulder was huge. Yeah, that'll ruin, that'll just crush you. It'd be like, 
Well, wow, those guys on that bridge, that bridge that got hit by the boat, those poor guys were filling in potholes or working. And they just, of course, they, they saw it coming. You know, they saw the boat. A rock would just shoot me over. You wouldn't even know it. Those poor guys on the bridge, they said they're going to do a body recovery on their, I guess, in their vehicle, some of them. And they're at the bottom of the channel there, or the bay, or whatever it is, bay. That would suck. Seeing the seeing the tug coming for the boat, and you know it's going to hit the bridge. I mean, you could barely get out in time, and then you're still. And they, they said the water was like 47 degrees. You got about 10 minutes, I think they said. Yeah, that was a. Like they say, when your time's up, your time's up. I'm gonna go up and see if anybody's stuck, and uh, I got my change this time. I really can't, my foot's still messed up, so. I'm about three weeks from having a good foot, so I can't go crazy on it. So if I have to chain up, I'll see if somebody can help me, maybe pay them to help me. And uh, I can use my winch. I got my traction boards. I got two, three toe straps. I got a kinetic rope, and I got two toe straps. You never know. The last time up here at Oakland, when I went to pull somebody out, we hit my winch out about 80 feet, and he was still. You don't want to run a winch out all the way to the end. You want to leave about at least two wraps on it, like 10, 15 feet. I, we had to add a uh, another toe strap to the winch rope. I got a rope. I just changed it. I'm looking at the river, and the river's not. No creek's not even up. What's going on? I think no creek would be up. Oh, look at that. We're going to get up here just perfect, I think. We might be a little late. It's getting dark. But I went to... Cables are... I, I came my old cable on my winch. Metal cable 3 ace. I, I just... They're dangerous. And they bust. When you start busting the little strands, they poke your fingers. Even if you got gloves on, they... The thing with a rope is it's not a projectile when it breaks, even though you should still put a coat on it or uh, something to hold it in case it breaks. You still got the... Well, mine doesn't have a hook. Or, what's on the end of mine? Yeah, it's got a hook. There's a guy who killed in Arizona last year, year before. He did throw a coat or a blanket over that rope or his cable and it went right through the windshield. Hit him and killed him. And they said he was an experienced off-roader and I thought... And it's the first thing you learn when I'm out of winch is don't let that thing, uh, you know, if it breaks, it's going to go flying right at the windshield. It usually flies at the truck that's winching. So, man, I, chain check is up by the Y, I believe, up above here. It, uh, There's snow right there in New Camper Ridge, right low, right there. Yeah, it's low. It's, Oakland's going to have snow because uh, Oakland's 4,000 at the bottom, 4,500 at the top, 4,800. And I see snow right here, low. Ooh, we're going to get the red, red clouds. You don't have to get cold to get wet. You can, uh, oh, there's a mule over there, the mule in that field. If you're wondering, I'm not a fast driver. This guy's going slow. He's going 40, 35. It's a 50 in here, but I usually don't fly through. I'm not a fast driver, but if I get on your tail, <laughs> you're not going very fast. I'm not a grandma, but I just, I don't fly around anymore. I did when I was a kid, but damn near got killed a couple times. Oh, there's a beautiful picture. Looking back over crafting. Oh, man. It looks beautiful looking that way. It's so green up here now. You see how green it is? That ain't going to last for... If this is the last rain, we got about two weeks of green and then... And the cows, there's those crazy cows right there. Oh, he's 
raised up to 45. Uh, hopefully he'll, yeah, there's a double lane up here. I think he's hauling something. He's got, looks like a kegerator or something in the back. That's the other thing, you, when, you, when you come up on somebody and they're going slow, a lot of times, like the other day I had 10 owls in here and I couldn't go fast. I didn't want to give them a bumpy ride. And uh, a lot of times when you come up on somebody, they may have a load that they're trying to take care of. So, like, whoa, you can't always think that the guy's being a jerk going slow. Yeah, I think he's hauling something. That looks like a keg on the right now. Kegerator on the left. Let's see if it is. I think it is. Yeah, that's a keg and a kegerator. Pardue. Northern bench. You kite with Pardue right there. Follow that truck. Who crashed parties in the. We used to do that in, God, when I was in the military, even in high school. See a guy at the liquor store and he'd have four kegs. He's like, hey. <laughs> I was going to go up here and maybe get something to eat it. Clutus has got a uh, new place up here. The I was calling it the Iron Skillet. It's called the Cast Iron. I've been calling it the Iron Skillet for, since they opened. So it's 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 the uh, cast iron is the name of it. Same clue as in Redlands and in Kaipa. Uh, Kasha, I think is his name, the owner. So uh, I wanted to go for breakfast, but I was dragging today, so I got up or I got ready late and uh, go for uh, supper. You'll be able to see the mountains good now. I don't know if I'd go up in that low slung car that that guy's wrapping off right now because we're gonna hit snow right at Potato Canyon. I just hope it ain't icy. Let's see what we got. 40, it's 46 on my thermometer on my truck. I just don't. I, I can come down when it's icy. Going up can be a pain. Barely see the you Kuiper Ridge or see it on the left. That's the other thing, the fog, the clouds are low. And I got I think they said eight o'clock, eight to eight was uh Clutus. Hopefully they don't close. Ah! They close early. I'm screwed. I'll have to come back. Well let's check out that El Mexicano too and uh what else is up here? Uh, uh, Apple Andy's there. Apple Andy's, what's the other one? The, the bar there's got pizza. I forget what they call that. Common Grounds. Common Grounds? What else is up here? I always slow down right here because if man, it gets a, get some potholes up here. He's got a high vis jacket, you know, the bright green, lime green. I got my lime green bib overalls on so they can see him. I got a shirt and a jacket, even got a like a tanker's cap, tanker hat. The tankers, if you ever if you watch those war movies or if you're in the military, the tankers had those, you know, they look like old time football helmets. Yeah, look how low it is. That's sandbags here on the right. That's not snow. 
but the snow is right there. You can see the. Yes, yeah, it's, it's down past. It's down by Potato Canyon, I think. Can anybody say hi? I just want to make sure the comments are working. I didn't check the comments earlier. Let's just say hi or uh, test one two or audio or. I just want to make sure they're working. This one works a little different. On comments, this is YouTube. Before I was live broadcasting on Facebook, but Facebook won't let me go horizontal. There we go. Hi, hi, hi. There's a comment. Facebook won't let me go horizontal. So, see the blue lights right there in the front? They look like a cop car. You can't really have blue lights at the front like that. People think you're a cop. I saw one one time, it, it wasn't flashing, but I thought it was a cop behind me. It blew a red, they usually will tag it for them. Oh, should have went. They're in there taking pictures of the sunset right there. Eldorado Park. Now you should be able to see the snow pretty good. Just in time, it's getting dark. That ain't too jiggly. I never did get a mount like I wanted fixed up. I just want to look at it. I thought it would be somewhere below. Or I thought it would be down here. But it's just a little bit above here. And the, we'll go here and look. This is that creek. That Birch Creek that was flooding everybody. The, it was getting out of bounds. And I'm looking at the trying to see the creek. It looks like it's behaving. It's, they've done a lot of work up here to try and keep it in the channel. And uh, it looks like it's it's behaving itself. Yeah, there's a little stream right there I can see where you, you can step over it. So yeah, I'm looking for deer over here in the... What is that? Oh, it's an old burnt stump. It looked like a... Let's see, a... A badger sitting up, but it, it's a uh, little burn stuff. I don't know if you can see this on the right here. See how this guy did his driveway right there? He put in, instead of low water bridges, they put in big culverts. Oh, that, that wore out right there. That's collapsing right there. Whoa. They put in big culverts and then they concreted over the top of them. So that guy's got the old low water bridge. And the low water bridges were just getting filled with muck. Actually, it's flowing pretty good up here. Yeah, that guy's driveway is kind of blocked there. It's not too bad. He's got, there's some debris in the road, but yeah, the creek looks a little wilder up here. Yeah, it's got a little more flow up here. Yeah. Sorry about that. It, it uh, gets a little sketchy up here in certain areas. There's the house. See how they put the double K rails on the right? To save that house. I thought that house was going in. Because the creek bends right there. Here's that Birch Creek. Right here's the, been the issues where this just blew out. And it went down the road. You had to start to eat the banks. They've reconstructed the creek. The banks are sloping there, but it's it's starting to eat that bank out again. The erosion. I think, where's this house at, the castle? This was gonna be a, a bed and breakfast or a wedding place, what do they call that? It looks like a castle right there. There's actually a castle up here, if you know where to go. Let's check out the OG Steakhouse, it looks slammed. The yeah, OG Steakhouse has got a lot of people. Wood card. Yeah, I thought it'd be lower. It's, it's a. Uh, if you want to come up, well, you got a half an hour to get the clue. Let's see if clue is even open. It's uh. I thought it'd be lower. It's just above us here, just above Mom's. Are they open? Yes. Let's get up here and get a. Oh, oh, oh. 
Let's get up here and get a spot before they turn that light off. Ah. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go feed the tapeworm. I might go, uh, I might run up to Forest Falls later after supper and take a look around. I might go up to the top here. Depends. I got 41 on the thermometer, so it's not that cold. It's not freezing. So, uh, and the road looks clear. It was looked clear and dry. So, tomorrow before the second wave hits, uh, you should be good to come up here and play in the snow. Uh, you know, respect the private property. There's most of this is private. Up by uh, Appalachians, there's a little place to play. Don't park in the road. Don't block driveways. Pick up your trash. Be good uh, tourists. Good visitors. Thanks for watching. We'll see you. Bye. I gotta find the off button. Where's the off button? Ah, this one's got different, different uh, controls. You yeah, don't. <laughs> I may hit the wrong button here. Uh, which button was it? Is it that one? Oh, there it is. The X. Are you sure you want to stop streaming? Yes.